Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Doc Martin shoes that were used by Ghostface in Scream 6. Let's get into it. So I did choose to get these from Amazon because upon looking at 30 different websites they either didn't have my size or just the right color. I did actually have a gift card to a place that would have easily gotten me the shoes for a very good price. And they had the exact make and model they could order me, but they did not have the right color. So I just had to go to Amazon. Um, I'll try to provide a link for anyone who may be interested as well. Um, but for now, let's get into it. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Obviously, just in the safest way to not show the, the label, the shipping label. Just for privacy sake. All right, there it is. There it is. So here it is, the Doc Martens box. Just a standard like cardboard box with Dr. Martens on it. I, I don't really wear a lot of fancy shoes anymore. I used to be super into collecting Jordans and Nike and all that. But honestly, over time, I just started putting my money into, you know, my collection and all that. Um, but I had to go all out for these as soon as I knew exactly the model that they were. Um, so, yeah, I know you didn't come here to see me talk for hours and hours, but it is. So it's completely covered, wrapped in paper. So get into it, we'll unwrap it. There it is. The comb two, I believe that they're called. Um, I don't know what this is. There's like a little cardboard piece, tag. I have no idea. I don't know if that actually is important for anything. So these are the exact make and model that Ghostface was wearing in Scream 6 during the convenience store scene um, where he steals the guy's shotgun. It's an awesome scene, honestly. Like, I'm going to try to go all out and, and make a screen accurate Scream 6 and hopefully make a video for you guys. But I had to get these as soon as I could because it's become a thing where people find the screen matched like items and they buy them out as fast as they can. And then once the company stops selling them or they're sold out for a while, Everyone's just trying to sell them at a markup of like 300 plus dollars, depending on what the item is. I don't really know what the market would be for these later on, but I wasn't willing to take any chances because, you know, for the price that they were, it's not very bad. And if they do go up in value, then they go up in value. But I'd much rather just keep these for myself for my possible cosplay or costume, whatever you like to call it. Um, but I'll get you guys a close up of the shoe in just a second. So we'll begin with a close-up. Um, you can see right here, there's the the pull tab on the back. Um, the thing that was different about all the other pairs I was finding online or even stores that I had a gift card for was that they had this exact model, but the letters were in that um, signature yellow like, um, like color. So it was very standout. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could just buy the yellow ones and, and possibly paint them yourself. But honestly, rather just have the exact make and model, especially for like the $10 difference it would have been. Um, but uh also the other thing that would have stood out is the stitching here along the top of the shoe these thick stitches that go along here um they were also yellow on that other model but um obviously the one that he's using the film is solid black you know just everything covered in black it looks so sick um the laces seem to be very heavy duty they're they're pretty nice they're pretty nice and even the i don't know what you would call them rivets i believe they have that uh that nice little shape instead of just being perfectly round. Um, it just feels like a really nice quality shoe altogether. Like, like really, I've never owned Doc Martens before, but just feeling like the sole and everything, like they just feel like it's like hard, but it's probably more like a soft feeling to it, to where it'll probably be comfortable when you're walking. I mean, reasonably, if you are going to be filming a lot of like running around in these, you'd probably want them to be comfy. So um, that's probably a win-win for them. It works perfectly for the character and in comfortability. I hope I'm saying that right for the actors. Um, but you can see all the materials. See how clean that looks. There's like this like coated like plastic feeling or I don't even know what you call it. I honestly don't even know how to like name these materials, but they're just super nice and they just feel really neat. I haven't even gotten to try them on yet. I did get a size 10 yeah, I got a size 10 I am a 10 and a half um, but I did hear a lot of mixed reviews on like how they fit if they're true to size or if you want to like go sm size smaller size bigger I really didn't know what to do so I just went with a size like smaller so I went with a 10 and um, comparing it to the size of my like work boot that I'm wearing right now they seem to be around the same and these are pretty comfortable so 
hopefully these will fit me very well um, but there it is there's a quick overview of the shoe if there's any more questions about them please let me know in the comments I will definitely get back to you as soon as I can but I'm just trying to give you guys the best close-up I can so you can see every detail so that hopefully all of your questions are answered without even having to ask um, as that's what I'm trying to do uh, with this higher quality setup for you guys so you can see everything on the shoe um, but pretty much it's a very simple shoe very very simple there's not too much going on just solid black all the way through and maybe some gray for the lettering but overall great looking shoe um, I'll definitely pull out the other one so you guys can see them as a pair side by side so there it is the Doc Martin comb 2 black and gray variant of the shoe um, I'm just trying to get you guys of course a really good close up of them both together very very nice shoes um i will be trying these on for you guys as soon as i can but for now i'll just give you guys one last look at them one last little 360 of both there they are very very nice shoes again i do look forward to putting together a suit for you guys so you'll see that very very soon um but if any more questions definitely let me know in the comments below and i'll get back to them as soon as i can again thank you for coming back to the channel i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one